I think I'm recording. So let me know. We'll see how this goes, you know? We'll see. Might have finally uh, figured out what the hell I'm doing here, which is exciting. So, I have wanted to review this card game, The Arts, for some time now. This is MetaZoo. Not the most, a little bit different from my other shit that I got going on. Um, I guess a brief update on that. Smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. Um, coming up here soon. Again, that, that giveaway, May 4th. So that's coming up. We'll see how bad this recording is. I might move too fast. Invisible hand. Yeah, so we'll see how this turns out. I failed last time I tried doing something like this, but this appears to be working. Guess I'll find out. I don't know. Um, 44.26 frames per second, so sounds good. It ain't 120 like the Xbox and PlayStation, but it's just going to run through these cards. Um, give some of my opinions on MetaZoo, um, and just go through that. It's This is a card game that was released through Kickstarter. Um, I think it was a $10,000 goal. They ended up getting about eighteen grand, which is not a whole lot of money. But this is set to start releasing here soon. Um, I had watched a video of the creator of the game, I believe his name is Michael, um, don't, just don't, not remembering his last name, but he, uh, did a box opening, and he was pinning it basically similar to Pokemon Magic, and you can look at the arts, and you can, you see, like, 90s nostalgia art in these, um, some weird looking shit in here, that's for damn sure, some weird looking shit, um, just, Right off the bat, it's just wild looking. Like, what the... F this Bigfoot looks like a an owl. Yep, basically an owl with legs. Hodag looks pretty dope. Looks like the dragon from Japan or China or whatever. It's pretty sweet. The little the face on it. China. Uncle Sam's looking kind of creepy. Poncho. Keep an eye out for cards made by Poncho. He makes some dope, dope looking arts. I guess one of the biggest pet peeves that I had was uh, this turtle here. This was considered the blastoise of the set. Um, kind of weird pinning it up against Pokemon like that. Chessy. So this I noticed. I was watching a stream with Pokemon Radar and King Pokemon. King Pokemon's like a big supporter of this game right now. And King Pokemon thought it would be cool if MetaZoo and future sets had a Loch Ness monster. Come to find out, and King Pokemon is supposed to be building all these sets. I don't know if I believe that anymore because they do have a Loch Ness monster named Chessie instead of Nessie. Nessie is the nickname for the actual Loch Ness monster, and they named this one Chessie. So there's that. I know he means well. These are some of the shittiest arts I've ever seen. You got a Blossom here. You got Eyeball Nuts. Beautiful. I like this uh, rock fish holding the diamond, also made by Poncho. Poncho, you let me the fuck down. What the fuck is this hillbilly looking Charizard bird with antlers? It's fucking Rudolph. Rudolph, 
Magma Blast Reindeer. Now, Babe the Blue Ox, I actually looked up on eBay and I was going to buy one. It's like $120. This card, Holographic, looks pretty dope. Uh, these eyes in the back of this Sam Sinclair remind me of Haunter, Gengar. I kind of want this because I love Zapdos. Reminds me of them. It's pretty sweet. Nothing too special there. I had, this game's wild. It's got a weird mechanics in it. Like, you got to blow cards off the table. Um, it's got, like, a fourth wall. So, it's, like, there's different shit that could change different shit in the game, which is strange. Like, the, the Moltres is dope. Oh, you got the Jurassic Park, Amber. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hopefully uh, another game takes off. There's a bunch of cards in this damn set. Poncho. Poncho coming through with the creepy cards. This witch card, I don't know if it comes in holographic, but that would be pretty dope. That's pretty sick looking. I like it. Yep. Creepy ass bunny him man drawn by Poncho. See, Poncho's kind of got to get signed on my cards. Because he's got some of the better ones. There's got to be Poncho, yep. Poncho. Also, this Mothman is the Charizard of the set. And the prices are matching that on eBay. It's selling for crazy prices. And I wouldn't... It's too... like there's ne This game hasn't even been released yet. Boxes are selling for thousands of dollars. Which is insane. I get it. I don't get it at the same time. You don't even know if it's. I haven't seen one game be played online. So I don't know the playability. I was. I just finished watching some of the Pokemon online TCD get played live on YouTube. The game plays. It's a playable game. So hopefully this, the fourth wall is going to be weird. I don't know how it's going to work, but that is a cute looking dinosaur. Very cute. Like this color scheme on the outside gives me like a 1990s, late 1980s Magic the Gathering vibes. Jack Rabbit, okay, not too special, yeah, it's all these, oh man, this guy's shitting out his chest, he's just ripping it, what the fuck, light bulb, charmeleon, ooh, is that not poncho, yeah, so this game, uh, do as you wish. I ain't going to tell you to buy it. It's honestly, it's probably like you thinking you buying this because it's got a first edition stamp. It's got a Kickstarter stamp. You're better off just dumping tons of money into Dogecoin. It's basically the same thing. You're literally gambling. Um, you're hoping that this is going to skyrocket. And as we're seeing Pokemon, Pokemon prices are dropping. Um, as soon as COVID ends, if it, I guess, if it ever goddamn ends. Can't see this last, it is currently 11 o'clock at night and I'm tired of shit. Went golfing for the first time this year. Got my ass blew in. Dad whooped my ass. His friend whooped my ass. God knows I drove that ball about 280 today, though. Dragon's Breath. So I noticed there are a few of these cards that actually, the card name is a Pokemon attack.
So I'm guessing this is kind of like Magic, where you play and Pokemon. You play certain types in the deck. That's just guessing. I haven't done much research on this game. I'm just kind of reviewing arts right now. <sighs> Poncho, baby. Poncho with all the gore cards. Gotta love him. Must have gave him special uh, special access. Harry Potter looking ass. Grounding. That looks like a fucking Harry Potter. Lightning Bolt. That is a uh, Hearthstone card. Does it do the same thing? I played a shit ton of Hearthstone. Don't wait. That game's so expensive. You can't even trade cards. So expensive. Sewer Alligator looks a lot like Toon Alligator from Yu-Gi-Oh. Kind of like, oh, he's eating pizza. Motherfuck. You fat bitch. Yeah. This will be interesting. Some lands. Looks like lands. I'm thinking I need to buy a Babe the Blue Ox because that'll be interesting. Another thing I didn't really like about, and I know he probably regrets it the way he, he dove into it, into his, his box break, but he's like, man, yeah, this is a gradable card. Um, he's like ripping packs. He's like, man, this card is really gradable. I'm like, just because it's in good condition, the bitch is gradable. Like who's going to like, you're trying to create a market. I respect it, but don't be the owner doing it. Have other people do it. So it does, it's, it's just weird. Like you're, uh, boosting in the most blunt way you could. Like, man, look at this. This is a PSA 10 for sure. Like, Pokemon, sports cards, they're collectibles. They have a lot of nostalgia. So you're promoting this more as a collectible card game versus a playable TCG, which I didn't like. Which, if you're just selling art and collectibles, it won't last. It definitely needs... The core ground break, like the, the grounding of a TCG it needs to be playable, need to be able to pull tournaments. I don't know if this list just reset, but yeah. So, holy shit, I keep going. Yeah, so I'm going to look at that Babe the Blue Ox real quick. Again, all you need to do to enter my giveaway of the evolutions box is follow me on instagram link down check my website down in the description below and just go to my instagram and follow me and then I, on may 4th i will randomize all the followers inside of my instagram and pick one person that one person is going to get the entire box i'm going to crack the entire box on a stream might be a dog shit stream with We'll see how this turns out. But I'm going to stream it. I'm going to let that person select two cards. I'm going to express grade them through CGC, which is now $60 a damn card. So I got hose there. So Baby Blue Ox, $175 or under. Let's see. That's expensive as shit. I get there's not a bunch of them. So this has, as you see, Has this first edition logo down here, and then this Kickstarter logo. So look, this is cool. I love the Kickstarter thing. I've never, um, they're genius for putting that on there. That's so cool. This car is beautiful. I don't know why. I just got a thing for it. Victor Larson, who are you? 
yeah, so it's so that's happening. See how that goes. I'm gonna check uh, PWCC, see the things I'm watching. I've been wanting to stream like this since I started, and through the help of an OBS software program, I'm able to do it. So. Really hoping it doesn't look like dog shit. This card, PSA 9, is cheap as hell. So this will be interesting to see where this ends. So I think a PSA 9 Japanese version on PWCC sold for $1,800. So I might cop this bitch. That's not bad. Yeah, so how do you guys feel about the uh, the changeover to the possible use of electronic? I know I mentioned it in previous videos, but the AI use through PSA, is it going to be harder to get tens? So will current tens cost more? That'll be interesting. I really wonder what this this is. A month ago, this first edition PSA 10 Zapdos was selling for 10 grand. That'll be really interesting to see where that falls. Following some of these cards. Getting cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. It is, I keep following all these other collectors on YouTube, and I spend a lot, like while I'm working through the day, I work a nine to five, I uh, always find myself listening to podcasts and just better educate myself, keeping up with the market trends, um, and it helps so much, so much knowledge, um, just gain through listening, it's crazy. Um, ZNG Emporium still is pumping out great content with market updates, and I almost want to copy and paste the spreadsheets he's posting on this thing because it's crazy, the shit he's posting, showing them, I'm trying to expand my thing here. The stuff Z's posting, man, it's just, I want to copy his spreadsheet because he's got some crazy information on there, just... All the market trends for the past months, years, in PSA 10s, PSA 9s. So it'll be uh, really interesting to see how the shit plays out. There's not a whole lot going on Heritage Auctions. They got some shit coming on in 14 days. Couple auctions ending in three days. PWCC's ending in like three days. So what are you guys looking? What are you collecting? What are you buying? Are you buying? Are you just selling? Um, I'm always selling. I'm always buying. <sighs> got some stuff in the mail coming. I got still all my slabs still on my website, so check it out. Any questions, let me know. Um, that's it for now. Peace.